How's it going guys and welcome back to ABTFM YouTube channel. Today, we are here with a brand new series, Zero to Hero. So back in my um, announcing FM21 save, I actually said that I'm just going to do, do um, two main series in my channel um, in this year's FM. So the first one is the Enigma project with Getafe CF and then it is a challenge that I gave myself. So we are taking over Getafe CF um, and then in five seasons time, we are just going to win the La Liga, the Copa del Rey as well as the Champions League. And then there's an interesting rules, which is I'm only allowed to sign eight Adidas player, eight Nike players, eight Puma players and one other player from the other brand. And then the series is actually now live on my um, YouTube channel. So if you're interested, make sure you check that series out and then also hit the subscribe button if you enjoy my content and then yes and then smash that like button on this video as well we are actually pushing towards 200 subscribers and then um, right now i'm sitting at 199 yes one more to go so yes make sure you hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell to get notified so you wouldn't miss out any of my video as well and then um, enough um, talking about Getafe CF, we are actually here with this series called Zero to Hero. And then, um, yeah, Zero to Hero, let me just pull this out for you. So yeah, the objective is actually, oh wait, um, actually I'm just going to say um, which team I am uh, managing right here. So um, we are actually taking over Johor Darul Takzim. So yes, my local club, I'm from Malaysia and I'm, I'm from Johor as well. So I'm taking over my local club and then these are the objectives um, for this series. So we are going to win at least three league titles. And then the another goal is to reach semi-finals in AFC Champions League. Yes, if I'm not mistaken, Johor Darul Tazim haven't won any um, AFC Champions League um, before because um, yes, it is a very, very uh, competitive competition. I would say it's very difficult to win as well. So I'm not going to be too harsh. I'm just going to say um, our ultimate goal is just reach semi-finals in the AFC Champions League. And then we give ourselves five seasons in Malaysia. Yes, um, this one is actually a journeyman series. So we are going to start our journey from Malaysia, from my local club. And then the ultimate plan, as you can see right here, is make me, yes, the character, a world-class manager in um, FM21. So yes, um, having that said, I am actually just going to show you guys the... um leg that I loaded up in this safe. So yes, as you can see right here, Malaysia, yes, that's where we are at right now. And then I've loaded up Australia, um, China, Hong Kong, India, Indonesia, Singapore, and South Korea. So yes, after five seasons, then we will just decide whether or not we should stay in Malaysia or we will just leave to another country or to another um, region, You um, I would say. So, um, or if we achieve our target early than um like before five season maybe we'll just um move to another country who knows all right so um let me just introduce a little bit um the club for you so yes Johor Darul Tazim since um, 2014 they have been crowned um as the Malaysian champions for like one two three four five six for six years straight so yeah, I am actually very confident to win the um, Malaysian League right here. However, in the AFC Champions League, it's actually going to be very, very tough. Um, having that said, let me just show you guys a club vision right here. So yeah, the club culture is to sign high reputation player and then play in uh, entertaining football. So I think that will be okay for us. And then the, our five-year plan right here, maintain the club status as the most reputable team in Malaysia and work within wage budget. I mean, um, as you can see right here, um, no, actually my um, my cam um, cam screen is actually um, blocking the transfer budget right here. But then we have seventy five k transfer budget and seventy one k wage budget, which is actually very very um, is very enough for um the Malaysian league. So right here, end of current season, as you can see, Champions League be competitive. 
yes, we are actually going to play the um the qualification um competition. So um, I mean the qualification. Yeah, uh, I don't know what am I talking about. My English is just um so bad. Yeah. I mean, you get the idea. We are just going to play the um qualification um competition. Yeah, I'm just going to call it that. And then um, it's just be competitive because the um Champions League. If we just click on Champions League, the all the play all the teams is actually very very strong. So you can see um the past winner is um, Al Hilal from the Saudi League, and then Guangzhou Evergrande um won the um Champions League before as well. So yes, it is very very tough. So yeah, like what I said before, we are just going to aim for the semi-finals in the AFC Champions League. And then for the uh, Malaysian Super League, win the Super League, yes, I think that will be achievable. And then the FA Cup, we are just going to win the FA Cup as well. So um, there's another competition called Charity Shield, and that is not important. And in fact, I'm just going to show you guys the schedule because, um, yeah, this is, um, I've just started the save. So I've just... Um, played four friendly matches right here and then we still have two friendly matches to be played one against police united and another one against felda united so our first competitive um game will be against kadar in the charity shield but um this competition the board just say it's not important but then i would love to win this game and to take the um trophy home that will be our first trophy in our first competitive game why not we'll just try our best and um yes try to win the um trophy right there and then with that being said i am actually going to show you guys the squad and tell you about a little bit about the registration right here so if i sort um my players according to the nationality you will see that there are a couple of foreign player right here so we have two argentinian um two brazilian one player from um Kosovo and then another player from Singapore, another player from Spain. All right, so um with the registration rule, AFC um Champions League or even um where is it, right here, or even the Malaysian Super League, we are only allowed to have a maximum of four foreign players. So which means we are actually going to get rid some of them. So um I have actually get rid um one player. Um let me just show you guys the transfer history right here. Yes, um Nicolas Fernandez. Yes, we are actually get rid of him for about 13.75k, which is a very, very good um money, I would say. And then back to the squad right here. I have actually chose the three um I mean the four foreign player that I'm going to keep, which is the first one is Gonzalo Cabrera. I'm just going to start him as the right wing right winger so later i'll just show you guys the tactics as well so yes look at his attribute he's very very good in the malaysian league 31 years old argentinian and he's going to be a big part of our team right here and then the second one will be leandro velasquez and again another argentinian with incredible attributes in the malaysian league he will be our starting um left winger and then the third player is actually diogo so diogo is the um 33 years old brazilian striker and then his attribute is actually very, very insane for Malaysian League as well. However, he's actually leaving on a free transfer in November 2021. And right here, right now, we are actually at um, January 2021. So which means he can only play um, for 11 months and then he'll be um, leaving. So we will actually have to um, sort out a replacement for his um, position. And then the fourth player is Mauricio. So Mauricio... 32 years old defender and then his attribute looks insane man so so good at the center back department and then yeah i am just going to keep um four of them in my um team and then with that being said we are actually going to sell haris harun the singaporean the midfielder as well and look at his attribute he's actually not that incredible so i think um it would be good if we just sell him and then another one is the um 33 years old spanish Fernando so yeah Fernando I mean he looks good however I think I'm just going to sell him and then actually some team actually bid for him like um Deportivo La Carunia and um Numancia right there so yes I think Fernando is going to leave us um like in few days time I believe and yes um after this I'm just going to show you guys a tactic so um I'm actually going to play a 4-3-3 formation with um three midfielder one in the D DM and two at the center midfielder and then our front three is just the um foreign players right there Diogo Velasquez and Cabrera and then let me just introduce the um goalkeeper right here 
Shahis Waran. So um, 21 years old, Malaysian, and then his attribute actually looks okay. I'd say 13 reflexes, 13 handling, 12 aerial reach, and then 12 concentration and 13 decisions. So I think he's actually quite incredible as a um, young goalkeeper in the Malaysian league. And then um, the left back is, uh, uh, sorry, the right back is actually Matthew Davis. Um, 25 years old Malaysian and then um, I think he is actually okay for um, the team. 11 marking, 9 tackling, 12 positioning is very very good and then his crossing is only 4 but then I'm actually playing him as a fullback on defense duty. So that would be alright and then his physical actually looks very great other than 5 stamina. I mean his acceleration, his agility and his pace looks very very good and then 11 strength as well. Very, very happy to have him as our first choice right back. And then in the center back department, the ball playing defender will be Mauricio, um, the Brazilian that I just showed you just now. So Mauricio will be our first choice um, center back for sure. And then playing alongside him, I think I'm just going to play the 29 years old Malaysian right here, Muhammad Falid Muhammad Shas. And then um, look at his physical. He's actually all right. 13 acceleration, 13 agility. 13 pace but then his strength is only four but then i think he will be very good as the central midfielder because um, look at his marking is 11 tackling is 12 positioning is 12 as well so yes i think he is just going to play as our first choice some um, center back right there and then in the left back department this is um our captain as well Corbin Ong, yes, Corbin Ong, his crossing might not be the best, 4 as well, and then his acel um, acceleration, agility, pace, natural fitness, stamina is so, so good. His physical is just very, very good. Yeah, I'm I actually running out of words, and then his tackling is 12, marking 9, and then leadership 13. So I'm actually very happy to have him as our first choice left back right there. And then in the um, DM department, Mohammad, Mohammad Afik um, Fazal, and then he will be our first choice um, defensive midfielder with 11 tackling, 11 positioning, and then again, physical actually looks great for me right there, and then he is just going to be our anchor man right there because he is a relatively defensive player right there. I'm just going to play all our defense um, for him. And then in the deep line playmaker role, the um, Kosovo, Kosovan um, Lee, Liridon Krasniki, yes, um, it's very hard to pronounce his name, um, Lidiron Kras Krasniki, yes, Krasniki. And then look at his attributes, very, very good. 14 dribbling, 14 first touch, 13 passing, 16 technique. And then his mental attribute actually looks okay as well. Um, acceleration and pace might be slow, but then we have got a cover right um, alongside him. Faiz Manso, his acceleration, again, 14, pace, 12. Mantle might not be the best, but then he does have 13 first touch, 13 long shot, 10 passing, 11 tackling, and 11 tactic. And he is just going to be playing as a box-to-box -box midfielder right there. So yes, I am actually pretty happy with my squad right there. Alright, so um, after I introduce all the tactics and stuff, I think today I'm not going to play um any game right here. I'm just, it's sort of just like I'm introducing the team and um let you guys um know about the club so yes previously i tweeted out saying that i'll be uploading four videos um per week so two episodes from the um enigma project and then two episodes from um this zero to hero however due to some of my personal life um due to some work and stuff i am actually going to cut down um zero to hero to um one episode per week which means this is just going to be a little bit like an um accelerated um series i'd say so i'm not going to show like a lot of games maybe i'll just put like five episodes for one season so which means that um you are not going to see the game against kada maybe we'll just come back with some of the um, big game in the super league for example the game against some um, salango and stuff so yeah um i'll see what i can do and i'm sorry about it because um i'm just not able to produce um as much com content as possible for um this series however i am going to prom promise that this series is still going to be very very fun so yes i think i'm just going to go and play the um save and then we will be back with another episode right here so yes if you enjoy watching the content make sure you hit the subscribe button leave a like leave a comment and share it to your friends also don't forget to follow me on twitter it's abt underscore fm to join the discussion of football so yes that's all from me today and i will see you guys in the next episode bye bye